Some time ago, we did a little video on the Viair 88P. Phenomenal compressor. I have blown up every tire on my property with that thing, including the massive tires on the back of the backhoe and the front of the teleporter, which are the same size. So, yeah. Um, but there were a few comments where people said that uh, it makes a difference if the tire is lifting the vehicle, which we won't get into the science that that's not how air pressure works. But I thought, you know what? Let's inflate a tire on a vehicle. And I had an opportunity to pick up one of these. This is the Viair 85P. So instead of using battery clamps like the 88P does, this has a cigarette lighter plug. Now, that was a little bit of challenge because I don't smoke, so I've removed a lot of the cigarette lighter plugs in my vehicles and exchanged them with USB charge outlets. So I found the Ford still has a cigarette lighter in it. So the one issue that I see right off is the cord for this thing is just barely long enough that with this little short dinky hose, it'll just barely reach this. So if you've got an extended cab truck, this isn't gonna work for you. You're gonna need the 88P because this hose, I mean, it, it's, it's just not gonna reach. Um, this is a little bit smaller compressor, so it's recommended for smaller tires, maybe not truck tires, but this is a small truck. So one thing I noticed on the instructions for the 85P is it says you have to have the vehicle running. So I'm not sure if that was on the instructions for the 88P and I just ignored that, or if that's just because this is a smaller compressor in order to keep up the speed, it needs that extra voltage. That's pretty much as flat as you're gonna get a tire. There's nothing left in there. So, put the valve core back in. I'm gonna hook this to here, start the truck, and then start the compressor. Four minutes, we're at about 28 PSI, which is a little low, but I mean, it's probably about where the tire was, so probably the tire was a little flat to begin with. But I'm gonna look and see what the rated pressure is on this. 50. Rated to 50. So, after four minutes, we went from zero to about 28, almost 30 PSI. Let's see how long it takes to get it to 50. Eight and a half minutes, and it's staying just about on 50. So, oh, we're fogging up again. Uh, that's lame. Well, I'm gonna let the air back out of this tire, get my 88P, and see how that does, because eight and a half minutes, I feel like is a little slow for this tire. So, let's empty this back out. We're hooked up. Just comparing the size of these two machines, uh, the 88P looks like twice the compressor the 85P is. But the 85P is gonna be a lot better for someone with a compact car, something smaller that doesn't need to air up their truck tires to 50 PSI. If you've got a bigger truck or you're doing trailers all the time, the 88P is gonna be a better buy. Anything bigger than that is really just gonna be a waste of your money. So let's air this thing up and see how it works.
yeah, staying right about on 50. So in the end, what's going to be better for you? The 88P, which is a little faster, but also a lot bigger and a little bit harder to hook up, or the 85P, which is a little easier to hook up, has a shorter hose, but is more compact. Well, I guess ultimately it comes down to how many tires you're going to be inflating um, and how much space you want to give up in your vehicle. If you've got a big truck that you're taking off-road, the 88P is going to be perfect. Much bigger than this, and they start getting into kind of some stupid things where it's just, it's more complicated than it needs to be. This thing, you plug it in, you hook it up, tires inflated. Easy enough. And let's face it, if your tire's completely flat, which it's unlikely to be, um, this is going to be way faster if you've just aired down on a trail and need to air back up. It's going to be way faster. If you're a little low on air in your compact car, the 85P is going to take up less space in your trunk and be easier to use. You just plug it in the cigarette lighter and air up your tire and you're on your way. So ultimately it comes down to what you need. For me, the 88P is the obvious choice. I use this thing and this thing, this exact unit, is the one you saw a couple years ago. I have abused this thing more than you can imagine. It has inflated probably thousands of tires at this point on my customers' boat trailers, on my backhoe, on my equipment, on my stuff. I use this thing probably more than I use my 5 horsepower 80 gallon compressor in the shop, which is kind of sad. But at the same time, it's convenience. Having this thing, just plugging it into a battery and it inflating a tire, you can basically just leave it alone and in a couple minutes you've got your tire inflated. It's a phenomenal thing to have. And this version being a little bit smaller, a little bit more compact, and a little bit easier to use with that cigarette lighter plug than having to know where your battery is and hook it up and all that stuff. This is an easier option that you could keep in your car so that no matter where you are, if it's you driving, your wife, your girlfriend, a friend, anybody can figure out how to use this. You plug it in and you air the tire. It's simple. This is a little more complex, but in the end, it depends on your use case. So hopefully you've enjoyed this. Hopefully it's been useful for you making a decision on which of these two air systems you would want to keep in your car. Thanks for watching.